Why do animal collectives simultaneously annoy and enchant me at the same time? And why do I keep using simultaneously and at the same time in the same sentences? I could drag on for a minute about how in spite of its aquatic atmosphere reminiscent of being trapped in a fish tank, Panda Bear's new album was unfortunately redundant and slathered with the right combination of sounds to unlock my angry react face. Grrr. It is a chill album though, so I can't get furious, more just slouched in an office chair. But at the end of the day, Mr. Noah Lennox is ad-libbing for Solange, so who really does have the last laugh? A wide range of indie music was influenced by the members of Animal Collective and their approach to playing with sound, and although it has that botherous type of mixing you could liken to a pair of broken headphones or smudged pastel crayons, I do appreciate their sound play in the same way that I can look at a pool of shimmering seawater and feel at peace. So thank you, Animal Collective. Have listened to that Animal Collective? AV Tear's new solo album just dropped, absurdly titled as you'd expect, Cows on Hourglass Pond, and has the shivering, serene seawater sound palette I've come to expect at this point, hinted at by the psychedelic folk odyssey Eucalyptus a few years ago. That said, it seemed really bloody long. I like hearing aimless one-note guitar strumming as much as the next real estate fan, but I'm glad that with this new album, AV seemed more partial to shaping it into songs with more of a bite. Well, maybe not a bite, but the songs at least exert a lot more pressure. Let's call it a chew. Saturdays Again was a wonderful single that I praised back in January feeling in touch with adolescent wonder, just like most of the collective's music seems to do, but also feeling as if it's speeding eagerly towards what the uncertain future might have yet to hold. Time passing is the poignant idea that breathes down the back of my neck, makes my nose feel cold. It's not a deeply conceptual album, at least I don't think it is, but it feels like it holds some sort of thematic weight like Down There did back in 2011. Of course, Down There was very despondent considering its unfortunate context. In comparison, Cows on Hourglass Pond is playful, keen, has this alluring stare that'll pull you into its desire, and also rocks it with a very artful bounce when it's finally hopped on bit like Adra Fox. AVT is really good at giving these songs hooky melodies, and although it begins with what I think is the least captivating track, because it has this slower, drownier carriage, and exerts the same gargly vocal effect that the Anko gang have been swishing around with for a while, even that track gains a very pretty stability around 4 minutes in, when this discernible chord progression shyly sidles into the spotlight and makes me really happy that I'm actually listening. Casey Yours, a song that implies that you piped a robot one night, conjures the image of the busy action in day-to-day -day city life, and the disappearance of dogs, no, has a sassy high-pitched melody that chirps like a cricket every now and then, reminding me of the kelp forest level in the Spongebob Squarepants puzzle game I used to play. Weird comparison, but it's asking for it. On the other hand, Remember Mayan is really subtle, but when you recognise that pensive melody on the chorus, and that concept of anticipating the future, either for best or worst, there's this wonderful sense of settlement, like taking a deep breath to recalibrate yourself, and it opens up the album to be warmly concluded by the final track like a reassuring hand on the shoulder, but one from a person who is just as uncertain as you are. I think this album is an 8 out of 10 by the way. One with a very twee smile. I don't think this album was meant to explore these themes in conclusive detail, more sonically emulate this uncertain present space that lies between what we reminisce on and what we have to look forward to, hence an entire song dedicated to the moment in time where you have eye contact with somebody, or ones about being able to keep a friendship with somebody kindled, make a lot of sense. It feels like time has stopped. The album is comfy, but it also feels ready for something. The new Deacon project that is, yeah!